Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today I won't give you what you want. I will give you what you need. And what you need is some more Football Manager. Anyway, point is, we got more Football Manager for you. And that's what we're going to go and do. Man, I don't really I don't know what I'm saying right now. So we're going to start this shit. Um... Uh, I neglected to mention we have a decent um, kid that we signed. Uh, I think it was last episode. But anyhow, um, he's on a youth contract. I was unable to tie him to a professional contract. Um, mostly due to our finances. We can't really, like, the way you're able to, like, contract people out, it's a little weird sometimes. So I was unable to sign him to a full-time contract and all that shit yet however um that is that is likely to change he is going to be on the bench for this match um um i'm kind of a little leery about just throwing him out there because i'm having some real troubles with one of my other teams right now because i added a bunch of players because they actually went i actually talked about this uh they they actually went pro on me which is awesome and the problem is, though, well, I, I added a bunch of new players, and, you know, they, they, they're they not really gelling quite yet, and that's some real defensive issues, and they can't seem to fucking defend at all. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to do here with Harala and Hananen. I think I am going to drop Hananen to the bench, because he's a bit worse for wear right now, for sure. Um, we are going to drop Saxala and put in Granholm. Um... Let's see. What do we have? We don't have really. Uh, you are. You know. All right. I think that's about all the changes we can make. Mm. Mm. Or should I look at. Ooh. Ooh, Virta. You're not that bad. Better than I thought you were. All right, but what we are going to do is we're going to put him on the bench in exchange for Hanan and give us a little more, uh, some some more, uh, uh, I guess, options, depth, whatever you want to call it. Um, Hankala, Saxala, we have a Rins. Um, shit, we do not have a backup goalkeeper. I just realized that. Huh. This is what I will do, though. Uh, not, not there. We want to go here. Sorry, this is taking so long to start. I actually uh, thought I had this all ready to go. You. Uh, let's actually, yeah, I can go here and go there. Put you on the first team squad. I'm still trying to get used to the the uh, the new um skin and everything still kind of still kind of having some troubles remembering where shit is i think we'll just have to go and just deal with harala being out there as much as i hate to say that actually we don't have we don't have another oh i know what we can do i know what we can do i i got some ideas i got some ideas here this probably won't do us any good but, yeah, we'll go with Oles. And we'll put him out there for Bachman. Because Bachman can play defensive midfielder, which is what we'll do. And we'll move Owusu and put him in that. Yeah, Harala, yeah, okay. All right, and we'll put him there in that spot. That'll, that's what we're going to do. And, um... Or we could just start the kid, but actually, Suisi, eh, really should, but not so not so soon after signing him. I don't think. I think we'll just deal with it as it is and probably get kicked out of this competition. But that's okay. We're all right with that. We're okay with that. We're not. We're not entirely. Uh, 
too upset with that. Holy shit, we got a lot of a lot of numbers to to give out here. Um, let's go with. So let's see. You uh, you'll get number two. I'll give you number two because I I got high hopes for you. I got high hopes for you, kid. Anyhow, all right. So let's get this started. Um. We most likely will lose this match. That's just the way I'm looking at it. And, um, once again, I'm kind of okay with that because that'll give us more, um, you know, more, more time to kind of focus on the league matches. And we don't have a real deep team, so we kind of have to just, uh, you know, just deal with it. You know, I mean, we're not going to have a whole real deep team, so we're not going to be able to really... Oh, boy, that's loud. There we go. We don't have a real deep team. It's loud on my end. I don't know. I don't know if, you can, if you're going to be able to pick up all that on the mic or not, but... Um, we don't have a real deep team, so, I mean, we have to pretty much try and stay healthy and keep the guys that we have out there... Out there in order to do well in the, season, in the league season, so... Um, and considering since we've already won a competition, a cup competition, have some silverware in the cabinet, I'm okay with, with dropping this this one. So I'm not too upset about it. Um the, their their league setup is similar is similar to um Ireland's uh fixture well not really, I guess. Yeah, I guess fixture list like, to to their kind of um they're kind of their competitions because we have the Finnish League Cup. Um, we have the Upper League Cup or whatever it was called, or which is what we already played and won. We've got that at the beginning of the season. Well, sh I'll shut up. It's actually similar to Iceland. It actually mirrors Iceland pretty well, actually. I mean, like I said, we have you have the oh my god, nice. We actually have the opening, you know, the league competition, the little tournament first which is what we won, and then um, before the season and all that shit starts. And then you have, like, the League the league Cup throughout the course of the season, which is what we're playing in now. Um, it's not really that. It's it's not that bad when, when you look at it, honestly. It's not a, it's not a terrible, terribly congested fixture list, so I'm okay with it. But, um, you know, it is, it is what it is. And I think, uh, I think I've said this before. I think we're going to have a pretty, a much smaller team than I usually have. I think we're going to want about, um, probably 15, 20 players that, you know, starters. You know, uh, uh, I should say about 15 and 20, like, first team players, I think, is really what we're going to be looking at. Um, it's, we don't have, uh, a, um, a B team, if you will, or a uh, reserve squad. So we've kind of got to just deal with with rotating players. And I think with the lower lower amount of fixtures that we have, we're gonna just we're gonna be fine with 20 players. That's kind of what I'm doing with my with uh, actually with both of my other clubs outside of Ireland. On my Galway United, United. Oh my God, I cannot speak tonight. On my Galway United. Uh, career I've, I've had two other clubs i've said this before and with them i've had a much much smaller team than i do with galway united because we have much much lighter match you know much lighter uh, fixture list because we just don't have as many outside competitions um especially in i in, in iceland because i mean they only play like some 22 league matches a year because the league is small and they don't play each other like three times or anything stupid like that. It's you only play twice, so I mean, you know, it, it's actually kind of nice because then you can keep the squad nice and trim and and you know really focus on the players that you have and and stuff like that. Like I said, we'll have we'll have enough, you know, um, we'll have enough players to be to be you know too deep. You know, in case people do get injured, um, but I'm not really looking to really get to have a whole lot of whole lot of players. Um, what we will focus on is versatility and, uh, and try and go after a lot of real versatile players, especially in midfield, like we've already done with players like Hagblom, 
you know, so I mean, pretty much all of our guys can play anywhere in there, which is which is nice, and that's really what we're going to focus on. And in fact, uh, players like uh, like uh, Virta, we're gonna we're gonna stay away from players like him because uh, he's kind of more pigeonholed into that attacker only position. Whereas we're gonna want players that can kind of play anywhere in here. Oof, that was close. And like I said, specifically like Bachman, who's a defender naturally, but can play anywhere in here. You know, so I mean that that allows us to have a smaller squad and yet maintain flexibility, and he can still get out there and play. And 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 we won't be too um, too stressed for you know bodies. But like I said, that's one thing I'm gonna really try and focus on going forward when we when we. Uh, you know, acquire new players. I mean, obviously, obviously things like defenders and stuff like that, you know, I mean, are going to be pretty, I'm going to be pretty, a pretty exclusive to that position, and that's fine. I mean, that's, that's, you know, that's, that is what it is. It's not like I'm going to, every defender I'm going to have is going to play in midfield or defensive midfielder as well. It's nice to have that, certainly, and that will be, you know, and if we can find players like that, that those would be the players that will go after over someone who's strictly a central defender. But um, it is what it is. So, I mean, like I said, it's the the midfield though too is like the all the midfield parts are very interchangeable in this formation. You know, especially I mean, really we have an attacking four. Of course, they all defend as well. You know, I mean, really, we have an attacking four, so anyone who can play, you know, midfielder or attacking midfielder, you know, a lot of those positions are going to be interchangeable, simultaneous, you know, and all that sort of shit. Defensive midfielder would be a little more specialized, but I mean, that's something too. I mean, you can you can get a player who has decent attacking attributes and still play him, you know, in the box to box role in the middle here in the hole so to speak and, and kind of let him you know still be what he is and that's what we're doing today we're playing uh, uh, Owusu in there and he's more of a defensive uh, defensive mid well he is a defensive midfielder by default by um, well, naturally I guess is, is what I'm trying to say I mean yeah he's, he's scored the goal for us already so and like I said it's 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 nice to have those interchangeable players because now, like I said, when you have some players that are a little worse for wear, you can really, you know, still maintain the same same level of consistency theoretically, and and yet at the same time have um, have some players that are, uh, you know, not always going to be. Uh... Actually, I don't even know where the fuck I was going with that. I, I lost my train of thought there, but um, but yeah. Really, like, I guess, I guess, in the, in the long haul, because of our fixture list and stuff like that, um, what we're gonna look for is, since we don't like, like I said, we don't have very many cup competitions. Basically, um, 18 world class players is what we're gonna want. Enough to fill out the bench with world class substitutions, and of course, our starting 11 are going to be world class players. That's really what we want now. Of course, like I said we're gonna want about 22 first team players now. Of course, that gives us some room to have to kind of, um, you know, oh Jesus, clear it. Oh my, it gives us some room to have a little bit of flexibility. Like obviously, like it, it'll be really hard to have, and there's really no need to have two world class goalkeepers. So once you have one world class goalkeeper, that's, you know. That that backup guy is just going to be that. He's just going to be that backup guy. I, I kind of personally favor that sort of um, that, that sort of setup. Uh, although, like I said, with my going United team, I have two world class goalkeepers. But that's just me being greedy, and I rotate. I, I've always done that too. I've always been a goalkeeper. Like I always rotate my goalkeepers. Probably not the best. Uh, the best practice and certainly people don't um don't do that a whole lot in sports um sorry i'm just sitting here trying to figure out what i want to say to these guys um you don't see a whole lot of that in, in sports with goalkeepers i mean obviously football you don't see that at all 
unless the player, unless the goalkeeper's form to dips drastically. But like I said, I, that and that goes back all the way back to my hockey days. Um, I've always been a believer in rotating your goalkeepers. I mean, just to keep them from getting jaded. And like I said, just me personally, I just like that rotation. It's a, it's a singular position too, and it doesn't require a lot. And I think. To me, it makes sense to be to to rotate them out and give them the adequate rest, even though physically they don't need it. I think mentally, I think that rest goes a long way. But that's just my opinion. Like I said, I'm probably wrong in the grand scheme of things, but when it comes to fucking video games and shit, it works. So that's what I do. But um, but here, like I said, we don't we're not gonna play too many matches, and you know we'll just have a competent backup. You know, someone who can who can come in and and perform decently, um, and uh, and not not be too much of a drop off in form, which means also we're probably gonna be signing a lot of older goalkeepers as backups. By older, I mean like 25, 27s, and they'll probably be rotated out frequently because it'll probably be hard to find someone at that age who will want to be a career backup to our uh you know to our main our our main goalkeeper but you know it is what it is and i think like i said that's how we're gonna address that position at least so and and we are going to have absolutely no problem i'm gonna tell you this right now we're gonna have absolutely no problem having enough bodies for our midfield because holy shit does this game do nothing I've mentioned this before, I believe. This game does nothing but spawn midfielders and attacking midfielders specifically. Holy fuck, they are everywhere. I mean, good God. I mean, it, it's just like every player. It's it, Like I said, defenders come in a fucking premium. I mean, it's hard to find defenders and, and stuff that it's just hard. They just don't spawn very often in this game for whatever reason. And when they do... Hell, half the time they spawn at, you know, places that we're not going to be able to get our hands on them. You know, the, the big places, you know, FC Bayern, you know, uh, fucking what do you want to call it? Um, you know, Barcelona, shit like that, you know, is where they're likely to spawn. So, I mean, Paris Saint-Germain, I mean, oh, God, you know, don't even get me started on how many French defenders I've seen spawn that I can't get my hands on. It irritates the hell out of me. So. Like I said, that's that's that. You know, and, and this is something too. Like I'm not gonna lie, commentating on this game is kind of it's kind of tough to do because oh shit, yes, can we get him sent off? Can we get him sent off? Please, please, please. Come on, yes, ha <laughs> yay! Well, so much for losing this fucking game. We might actually pull it off. But anyhow, um, like it's hard to commentate on this game because aside from giving you play by play, it's it's just it's just hard to you know, I mean I don't know what else I'm really supposed to talk about. So that's why I kinda go off on these tangents about you know, shit that we're gonna do later in the LP. Stuff like that. Um I'm gonna do this. Take Oyala off and put on Virta. I do have Reisinen. Mm. Actually, let's do this. I'm going to take Ose off and we're going to switch Reisinen with Bachman because I believe Bachman can still play in that, that um, midfield, if I remember right. And Wusu is a defensive midfielder by trade. I'll just leave it at that. I'll just leave it at that. Um, I want to put Suisi out there, but I don't know. With a one-goal lead and a one-man advantage, uh, I don't know if I really want to really want to do that. Mm. But anyway, especially I was I was thinking about it when I saw Romali um, almost get a card earlier. Um, I thought about, you know, just taking off whatever defender I had with a card and then putting Suisi out there to play. But, I mean, in a, in a high-stakes game like this, I guess. I mean, it's not a big deal, like I said. I mean, I kind of expected to lose, but 
the farther we get, the more money it is in it. And if we can knock off one of the better teams, which Asilati is, um, probably a top four club, honestly, in the, in the top division, I would say. But I mean, we can if we can knock them off, you know, we could be in a good, good position. But that's just you know. It, it 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 it's one of those things where like if you can knock them off early and then have you know another one of like the big four so to speak get knocked out by some other means before you get to them that that goes a long way towards giving you a good run in a in a in a, in a tournament competition because you know I mean it's it's less you know fewer big clubs out there to to get in your way so but um. I should I should mention that I've had some really good uh oh rising in you idiot. Um I have had as I've said before a ton and a ton of not luck, but I mean just really good results with this formation. I mean we with my Viking Club, which like I said, is probably uh, not only did we get through the group stage, but we beat Arsenal at home 3-0. Fucking great. I mean it was fucking great. I, I can't I can't express enough I am gonna put Ramali or er, Ramali Suisi out there though. Um Shit. We're gonna take Oles out because I think he's the weaker of the two. Um so just just I just wanna get him out there and give him some some time. Of course, now my entire midfield's all getting fucking carded, so. There's that. But, um. Yeah, uh, we've had some really good results with this formation. I'm really happy with it, and I think, um. You know, this is going to be what we're. Jesus Christ. Seriously, he just goes out there and gets a card. This is getting fucking ridiculous. This is getting fucking stupid. I hate, I hate when they do this shit, too. Like, I hate when they just start throwing fucking cards everywhere late in the game. It's like, why? Why? If you've let this shit go the whole damn game, what is giving cards to everyone with two and a half minutes to fucking play in, in normal time? You know, not not including added. Why? Why? What the fuck? Like, what is that going to accomplish? How is that going to change the game or enforce rules any better than you have been the entire match? I mean, to me, it, it feels like when they start giving cards out in the 85th, 88th minute, unless they're really egregious tackles, it, it feels like they're just, you know, fulfilling a quota. I mean, and this, you know, and I have no real vendetta against football referees. I think they're better referees than any American sport I've ever fucking seen, quite honestly. I mean, Americans, I've seen, I've seen a lot of Americans bitch about fucking soccer and how the refs have too much power and how they control so much shit and... How they're supposedly have all these vendettas against players, but when you watch American football, and I mean the NFL type shit, I mean talk about some bullshit calls. I mean they just throw shit around whenever the fuck they feel like it, and whenever the fuck they feel like ignoring stuff. That's the way the game is. But anyhow, we secure a one nothing win. By the way, um, I got a little piece of mail in my uh, inbox here, um, in the game, not 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 you know, in real life or anything in the game. We have, in fact, extended the longest, I guess, shutout record for AC Olu in all competitive competitions, like six, seven games now. And we just extended it again, obviously, because it's, it's, you know, it is what it is. So, yeah, I mean, this defense is holding up quite well through the first handful of games. Pretty happy about that. I mean, if if you've watched this this LP at all, you know that that's something that I give a shit about. But anyway, all right, so that does it for this episode. We secure yet another 1-0 win. And what's really nice about that is we grabbed the advantage early and just held on to it, and it really felt like it was never in doubt. That's nice. I mean, that's nice to have that security and that defense that you can go out and grab that one nothing lead and just hold on to it. And if I remember right, they only had five shots, none of which on target. And we had twice as many shots and only three on target. But still, I mean, it's 
it's nice to know that you have that sort of defense that you can rely on. And that's what I want. That's what I look to have here. When, whenever I play, uh, you know, football, I mean, that's really what I look to build is, you know, if you only need one goal or if you can only get one goal, you only need one goal. But anyhow, all right, so that does it for this episode. You made this far on YouTube. You know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment, all that shit. Remember, the Ghost Key is the only place where pants are optional.